And welcome to another episode of Kentucky Bird Review. I'm Still Reserve. Special K. And I'm Radar. Tonight we're going to be having some Zima. Zima! Woo! Uh, it's a refreshing citrus beverage. It's 5% alcohol by volume. Now this is back for a limited release. Uh, the Miller Brewing Company brought it back. Um, this is very popular in the mid to late 90s. I remember being out. Obviously I was not old enough to drink at the time. Mm-hmm. It's very similar to... Um, Mike's uh, hard. Now, guys, it's uh, not it's, Mike's hard, but it's uh, pretty clear. Smearing off. Yeah. I'll pour mine in a glass just to see what happens. Well, oh, like they're eleven point two ounce bottles. They're they are they have to be because these are not. No, these are these are twelve well, ounces. Um, it it smells a little bit like Ritz. Yeah. Uh, so it's like fermented, Double almost bit, like fermented yeah. beer. I don't really get too much citrus in there. I I get a hint of citrus. Just a little bit, yeah. Um, but it's yeah, limited like releases. Like some lime going on in there. Uh, very short shelf life on these. I know they're limited, but the shelf life's only until November. I don't even care. These aren't going to last until November. Come on, Andrew. Shall we? Right. It almost tastes a little bit like a Reds. I can do that, though. It's not as sweet as, like, Smirnoff and Mike's Hards. This has got a very, this has got a very distinct um, uh, cooler... Uh, cooler appeal, I feel. Oh, yeah. Like going to see a, a rec league uh, softball game, sitting in the stands, and uh, you've got your cooler full of non-alcoholic beverages, and Zima is probably one of them. It's very lightly citrusy. It's very corny. It's kind of... <laughs> no, <laughs> because it's Cans are easier to hide. And that's why we're going with cans in my softball league. Aha! <laughs> Yeah, it's not as sweet as you would think it would be. It's not. But like, I thought this was going to taste like... Uh, it reminds me a little bit of Reds, though, in the, the malty. Yeah. And, you know, and the Reds, on a nice hot day, it's refreshing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's rather warm outside. We just came inside not too long ago. Quite refreshing. It is. I was about to say that. Yeah, It's, it's not too carbonated either. Yeah, it's crisp. A, uh, a grass melon beverage. I would like to see this back. I'd like to see different flavors. I think it could beat with Smirnoff and uh, Mike's Hard. I think it could be, do better than could Smirnoff do, and Mike's Hard. It could do Hart. better than Mike's Hard. Yeah, At just, least Mike's Hard. Just oh, not yeah. being as sweet and carbonated is a big benefit. Oh, of yeah, because, you know, those I can drink one and be like, no, it's too sweet and I'm full. It's got a tiny, tiny amount of carbonation. I have a stream of bubbles. Just enough to give you a little carbonation right here. bite, but not like we're going to be belching a whole lot, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little in, the, in your life. Um, yeah, like, so I'd like to see more of this. Um, I know it had it had a, like a huge surge of popularity for like a year, then it just mm-hmm. went. Um, oh, yes. I remember uh, watching uh, Married with Children and Al <laughs> Bundy making fun of Zima. So, I mean, wasn't this before Smirnoff, like the Smirnoff Ices and. Yeah, this was one of the first. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was uh, before its time. One yeah, of the first Uncle Pops I remember. I like the bottles, they're very unique. The too. bottles, uh, the bottles, bottles. are very 90s. The grippy, the grippy feel of the bottle? It's very 90s. You thing. know what it feels like is uh, those bottles of water that nerds drink? Um, balls. Balls, yeah. Balls, the computer program so people in high school drink. What are you going to rate this? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give us a seven and a half. Uh, I'm enjoying it, obviously. It's e- yeah, it's easy drinking. It's easy drinking, and I, I got catch up. You could accidentally get hammered off this. Yeah, you could. Like it doesn't taste alcoholic. It has no foul taste. It doesn't even have any off tastes. They used to put Jolly Ranchers in these. That was the thing. So. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh. I don't have. Should have got a. We should have got a pack of Jolly so Ranchers. He was going out that oh. way. It's too oh. late now. We've already drank all our Zima. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna give this a seven. It's it's good, uh, not great, but it's good. Price isn't bad on this either. Eight ninety nine for a six pack. That's about um, normal. Consi- well, considering Smirnoffs for nine ninety nine, Mike's Hard's about eight ninety nine. Well, nine, nine, Red's nine, is eight ninety nine. Yeah, I think it's worth it. What do you think, Radar? I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Price is all right. I think this is. I think this has got nothing wrong with it. Uh, I'm gonna go and like after we leave here today, maybe tomorrow when I wake up. They, I'll go out and attempt to find some more and stick it in my refrigerator. They have them at the liquor barn near my house. I'm not going that far away. I, I can't go that I far. I bought this one at the Outer Loop one, and they have one left. They have one six pack. Yeah, that's what you saw. Oh, really? Yeah. Dang. Dude, I saw a guy buying a six pack of it today. 
when I was there grabbing something. Well, I mean, now I can say I've had Zima at the, at the very least. And if they bring it back, if they bring it back permanently, then I won't have to worry about it. But you guys recommend it? Yes. 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 All right, we all recommend it. So that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in Special K. I'm still reserved. You heard it here first, person who, who sends this out. He's Radar. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. <laughs>